So fortunately, that came loose quite nicely. I just wanted to show you the hub puller first though. This is designed to get the stubborn ones off. Sometimes you don't get so lucky and you can't get you can't just easily remove that uh, blower wheel off of the shaft of the motor. So what you have is this wheel puller and you can unscrew the bolt here and you fit it down on top of the the motor and the shaft and you want to make sure that when you do that you get it goes it goes all the way down and the other thing you want to make sure of remember we we took that that bolt out of the hub and it's right here you don't want to get one of these bolts screwed into that hub so when you place this on there you want to make sure that um, the bolts that are on the puller, puller are not lined up with that hole. Then you simply tighten these down, fasten them securely, back up with one wrench right here and crank this, start to crank this shaft and it will slowly push and pull the um, hub off of the wheel, or the, the wheel and hub off of the shaft. And that's how that works. But today we didn't have to use it. So we should be able to get that motor out. And there it is. All right, one thing of note, you take a look at this blower wheel. It's fairly corroded and rusted. It is not really dirty, but if it is dirty, now's the good time to uh, that would be a good time to take it out and clean it because you don't get a chance to do that very often.